Being part of the jury was uh, an enormous uh, delight, I would say. Uh, it's, it's also an enormous effort. Um, we, I, I, I was lucky enough that the other jury members assigned uh, had a wonderful attitude towards it as well. So it was really a luxury to walk with them through all the exhibitions, of course extremely tiring, but uh, I think we all allowed ourselves to um, express our opinions and to exchange positions. Uh, so in the sense of the, of the cross discussion, it was very rich, very um, dense. Um, with people with different positions, but I think what we managed to do is to um, generate criteria so as to evaluate as a whole, the whole exhibition, not just individual projects, because of course, as you were saying, they not only make sense in relation to the brief, but they also make sense in relation to each other. Um, so this was, this was for us an important task, to constantly contrast our opinions, what was presented with each other, with everything that is being exposed. I have been in the Biennale other times, but as a role, my role has changed. So I've been from you know, participating in a national collective exhibition to curating a national pavilion to being an international show. So I have seen the Biennale from different angles. And, uh, and I would say this one's the most demanding, but as well um, the most stimulating because you're suddenly exposed. And in that sense, I think is where the brief is most precise. The, the generosity of going through all of these, of these installations, uh, research, uh, just confirms that it's not about an individual project that is exhibiting generosity, it's just the attitude of our commun community of architects. Uh, so I, uh, I must say, I leave the Biennale tired, but with an enormous sense of optimism at the capacity we have as architects to modify our world and to inject optimism and proposal and beauty and all sorts of solutions that are, have been wonderful to observe.